This is how I set up the Gretsch Barrison guitar for Lowe's guitarist Eric Bickerstaff. Let's get those old strings off and give the guitar a clean and a polish. Look how much shinier it already is. Now with that out of the way, let's slap some strings on it. Eric uses a combination of an extra thick 0.105 gauge bass string for the 6th string, combined with a 14 to 68 baritone string set for the rest of the strings, discarding the thinnest 14 gauge. A funny consequence of that extra thickness in that 105 gauge bass string is that I have to unwind a portion of the string so that it can even fit through the tuning post. I've seen some other people drill the tuning post wider, but I'd much rather not risk compromising the structural integrity of the tuner, especially when dealing with such thick strings. On the topic of drill, the stop bar actually had to be drilled slightly wider to accommodate a slightly thicker portion of the string, otherwise there'd be this unsightly portion of the string sticking out of the guitar. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, the actual setup. First thing to check is the neck relief. The easiest way to check that is to capo the first fret and fret the 14th fret on the 6th string. This effectively creates a straight edge where you can measure the ever so slight concave curvature of the neck, which is done by measuring the gap between the top of the 7th fret and the bottom of the string. Eric prefers quite a flat fretboard, measuring in at just 0 0.005 inches which doesn't even show up on camera, so sorry. Next thing to check is the action. And since there's only two points of adjustment for the action on this bridge, I only need to check the action on the sixth and the first string, which comes in at 5 64ths of an inch on the sixth string and 4 64ths of an inch on the first string. This is quite a bit higher than average, but given the much thicker strings, the higher action gives him a bit more to grab onto while playing. Did you just feel heavy on the strings? Yeah. Is that a good thing? So I brought it back to the measurements that it used to be, like the very first time I started working with you guys, and then gradually started getting lower and lower. It's basically raised up by a 64th of an inch. Bring it down by 128. So half of that. <laughs> okay. So with feedback from Eric, the action is now actually 4 and a half 64ths of an inch at the 6th string, and 3 and a half 64ths of an inch at the 1st string. So let's see what he thinks of it now. Yeah, the baritone is feeling fantastic. Feels good. Plays well. Feels like sh